Hi everybody, it's Wanda. I just wanted to give you a little quick video, short video, on how I tape up the back of my canvases. It's really easy, doesn't take but a minute. I use frog tape. For probably up to uh, 16 by 20, I would use this width, which is probably about an inch and a quarter. I put them a little of the way in. That's probably a quarter of an inch or a little over. And I cut it at an angle. Some people cut them square. I cut mine at an angle, sometimes more of an angle than the other. The main thing that I do though, is when I get down here, instead of laying it all the way down, cause it'll stick to itself, I pull it up, I bring it over a little bit, and then I cut. So up here, bring it in a little ways, bring it down a little ways, stop it right there, rub it down so it'll stick good, and then kind of estimate where you want to cut. Cut it like that, let it lay down, and I turn them so I can get all four edges. That's it. What is that, one minute? Now for this size canvas, what I do is use push pins. I get them at the Dollar Tree. I use them over and over, but I happen to have some new ones here. So, and I use a hammer because my thumbs have arthritis in them. I just pound them in on each corner. I'm not gonna do that all the way. I try to hit right in the corner so that there's that seam there and they go down real easy. And that also helps to keep this piece of canvas right here on the corner down. If you get up here in the corner, it helps to keep it down so the paint doesn't run under it and make it buck out. So just a couple of tips and just showing you how I tape up my canvas. Then after they're dry, they're so easy to pull off See if I've got one sitting here. All right, here's one that I like. I think I put it down here to varnish or I put it down here to pour over because that ended up running and I didn't like that part. So, sometimes I do this to get my push pin back out. Now this has been on there for probably a month, but still, that's how good it looks. And then you don't have to mess with them. When you get ready to sell them, you just sign them and you're done. You don't have to paint them. You don't have to go back and mess with them anymore. I'm gonna leave that because I think I'm gonna pour over this one. And I just don't like spending any more time on the backside than I have to. Now, if I put a wire in one, I will go down just a little ways from where this top stretcher bar is, like about an inch or inch and a half, I put in an eye bolt, I put my wire through, I loop it through twice, and then I twist it around the wire. Then I go over here, I stick it in that eye bolt, I cut it about out to here, I put it through again, then I bring it up and I twist it again. Then I use tape, like an electrical tape, to tape those ends so nobody gets stuck on that wire. And that lets your canvas hang flat against the wall without bucking out or coming out from away from the wall. If you drop it down here, it's gonna hang out. It's gonna hang out about that far. So the closer you get it up here and pull it as tight as you can pull it because they will stretch and put it about an inch or inch and a half down from where your stretcher strip is. And that's how you do, or that's how I do mine. When, if I want to put a wire on them. But with these, it's like you never know if somebody is going to want to hang it like this or if they like this orientation better or if they like it this way better. So most of the time, I sell mine. I tell people, put a push pin in the wall, hang it up there. You don't need any hardware. You don't need a wire. Just use a push pin unless it's a big, heavy one. And then you're going to need something to hang it with. But, you know, if it's... Even up to a 20 by 20, you can hang on the wall with two push pins. So that's what I tell people to do. I tell them you're not going to damage your wall by doing it that way. So I hope you have a good day. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And 
you come back and see me again sometime. Thanks for watching.